welcome to our youtube channel so today i am going to explain you how to create a low poly house using blender so actually this is very uh, easy method so actually i am going to explain you this process very simply so at the end of this tutorial you will be able to create a low poly house using Blender 3D software. So here, um, I would like to present or explain this process step by step. So today, in this video, I am going to explain you how to create roof and the walls of our house. A monopoly house. Then the other parts, it means windows and doors. Uh, creation part. I'll explain you from my uh, other related video. So, therefore, today basically I'm going to explain you how to create roof and the walls of our monopoly house. Before go to the video, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Then, first of all, you need to open your Blender software. Then you have your default cube here. So, I'd like to uh, enable shortcut VUR. Then you can see the keys I used to create this object. So the first thing, if you first thing, once you open the blender, you have default cube. That's okay. So if the default cube is not available, then you can place Shift plus A. Then you can add a cube. So now I have a default cube here. So the very first thing I should do in this thing or in this process is. I have to enable the cavity option. So to enable the cavity option, you need to click this drop down arrow. Then you can see there is a checkbox called cavity. So you have to click this one. So after you click or after you check the cavity, then you have to select type. So here you have to select both. So for the type, option you have to select both then you have to enable cavity like this now it is okay now what 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 should i do first so i need to uh, after like enabling cavity then i want to uh, adjust the uh, what we called width and length of our house so to do that now we are in object mode to do that, what you should do is you have to press uh, you have to press N key here. Yeah? You have to press N key, then you have a menu like this. From this menu, you have to select item. Okay, so once you select the item, you have three uh, things: location, rotation, scale, and dimensions. So from these four items, what you should select, you have to select the dimension. So under the dimension tab, you see. So, so under the dimension, what should I do? Or what you should do is you have to set these values. Under the dimension for, for X, you need to give 4 meters. And so here you need to give uh, what is uh, 4 meters. Right? Then for the Y, our value is 6 and for uh, Z or Z our value is 3.5 right. so these are the values you should give to uh, so these are the values you should give to dimensions X, Y, Z values are like that so that's okay so after that uh, the other thing is 
once you give these values you can uh, close this menu by pressing n button again then you need to uh, switch, switch to front view to switch front view what you should do is you have to press the number pad one so once you press the number pad one you can see the front view, front view of your queue so once you in the front view so uh, so here our object panel uh, under the object properties you have another transform options location rotation and scale so under the uh, location value you have to view these things so under the location value so under this z value we have to give uh, 1.75 so once you give uh, 17.5 for z axis what happens the basement of your house now in the world origin so once you view or once you enter the z value to 1.75 meters now your basement or the base of your house in the world origin so that's what i should do that is what i did uh, now it is okay now i want to go to edit mode okay now i am in edit mode to shift edit mode what should i what is the press i should press so you need to press the tab key so once you press the tab key you shift to edit mode now we are in edit mode after pressing tab key now i am edit mode so i want to do some i want to do something so what i should do is here you can see here there are three options one uh, so one is select uh, vertex selection mode other one is edge select and the third one is face select. so you have to click on the face select mode then you have to select the top face so once you select the top face you should or you have to exclude this top face along the z axis now i selected the top face now i want to exclude the top face to the uh, what we call uh, z axis to scale the object to the z axis what you should do is you have to select the face value so you have to select the face top face then you have to press what you have to press the e key plus z key so once you press e plus z what happens is it excludes to the uh, along the z axis now we exclude our uh, object then after that you have to you need to move to what we call edge select mode now we are in edge select mode now from face select mode to i shift uh, vertex select mode okay then i want to uh, do something like this so here i want to select these two vertices i select this vertice then i am going to select the other end by pressing shift key then i want to merge these two vertices to merge these two vertices what should i do i to merge i have to click numpad m so once i click the numpad m you have a merge we have a small menu like this so from this menu we have to select at center so once click once you click at center uh, both corners merge like this and i want to merge the other part again select the other two vertices and press m and press center so once you do that you can see your basic shape like this now we merge those vertices like that so after that what should i do again i would need to uh, shift face select mode now i am again shift to face select mode like this then i want to select top face again now i selected top faces again after uh, merging those vertices then after selecting the top two faces again i want to separate the 
this part to separate i need to press p key so once you press the p key you have a menu like this so from this menu you have to select selection yeah i press selection and then i separate the upper part or the what we call root part so if i want to go to uh, object mode now i am in object mode now i can select the root separately so if i press g you see my uh, house wall is separated from the walls then i do that i did that by pressing p key so that is how i separate the object then uh, again next thing is uh, i want to uh, do something like this now i now, now i select the uh, our separation i like i select the i selected the root then i want to extrude or scale up on the y axis to scale press s then press y yeah now i scale my house like this i scale how i scale i selected the root and press s plus y so uh, root scaled to the y axis so that is what i did then again i want to go to edit mode so shift the edit mode you need to press tab key so now i am in edit now i am in edit mode then uh, here i want to uh, select my uh, roof faces again so after selecting the uh, roof face you need to click on the mesh menu so once you select the mesh menu you have to uh, select extrude faces along normals okay you have to select the extrude faces along the normals then drag the mouse button outside so after that i have to drag my mouse button uh, like this i have drag my mouse button outside so once i drag in something like that yes i drag my mouse button outside now you see uh, my house roof with changes or changed accordingly now after i uh, do that uh, after i extrude that i have a small menu here so i have to click on that menu so from that menu we have to select offset even and we have to set the value to this much 0.109 yeah that's okay now that's it that is what i did here then uh, again i want to select the edge select mode now i am in face select mode from face select mode y selected to y by i shifted to uh, edge select mode so once i move to uh, edge select mode then i want to uh, add bevel to my uh, roof this one this edge so to uh, give a bevel look after selecting this edge I need to click on this modify icon. So once I click on the modify icon, I have to add bevel modifier. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. I have to select this edge. I move to uh, select mode, then select this edge. Yeah, I selected the edge. So then I want to add a bevel to my rooftop. So add a bevel. What you should do is you have to press Control plus B. So once you press the Control plus B, you have something like this. Then after you release your mouse button, then you have a, then you can see a menu relevant to the bevel modifier. So from this 
menu what you should do is you have to set the segment to 4 yes i set the segment to 4 now we will uh, store is okay then uh, I want to select the uh, corner faces. You see, these are the corner faces. Now I want to see the face select mode. Then select the corner faces like this. I selected the corner faces. So once I select the corner faces, I have I need to extrude this thing. To extrude again, I have to select what mesh menu. Then extrude along normals. Okay, select these spaces, then go to use select these spaces like this, then go to mesh value, mesh menu. So, under the mesh menu, you have to select extrude under extrude uh, along normals. So, once you uh, click on the extrude under normals. Then you have to extrude the house through to outside after giving after selecting uh, extrude along normals. You have to drag it up. So here again we can set uh, offset value to 0 0.2 meters. Right. Uh, basic setup of my house is okay it is like this now uh, basic setup is okay now i want to add a chimney to my house to add a chimney you need to go to uh, what we call object mode then press shift a then add a cube so you have a cube like this you have to take out your cube by pressing g then Uh, just scale down then you need to go to object mode so edit mode then select the top face then press g and z so once you press g and z you can see something like this so here i am going to uh, create the chimney then you need to select the top face here so once you select top face Press, uh, you need to extrude the uh, top face. To extrude the top face, what you should do is you need to press E and S. So once you press E and S, you can see something like this. So after that, you have to extrude this thing up. So once you uh, extrude your chimney upper part along the set axis. You need to hit the I key to insert the face here. Press the I key. I press the I key and I insert face. Then what should I do? I need to extrude inside. To extrude this one inside, what should I do? I have to press E key. And then, it, then it extrude like this. Right. I extrude selected face to down by using E, Z, E plus Z. Now I extruded it down. Now the chimney is almost done. And I want to delete this part, bottom part. So I delete the bottom part, just select this face and press X and select delete. Yes, now face is gone. Now chimney is okay, face is gone. Then I want to place my chimney. Before I uh, place my fifth chimney, I want to scale it down like this. So after scale it down, go to the top view, then press G and take your Uh, 
Right now this is the chimney. I place the chimney. Right now I place the chimney of my house. So uh, I need to add this one. I mean, uh, I need to add. Uh, do, do, do I need to do something like this? So just go to the edit mode. Once you're in the edit mode, press, press Ctrl R. So you have to press Ctrl plus R to add a loop cut. So add a loop cut here, and you have to bring this loop cut uh, along the below. The, you have to bring this uh, what we call the. Uh, you have to bring this loop cut down along the this axis like this. So once you uh, in the uh, Z axis. So you need to select these spaces. So I need to select these spaces. Select the face select mode. So you need to select faces like this. So once you select the face like this, then you need to E S extrude this part like this. So uh, this is the basic setup of my of our house. So this is what I am going to explain from today's video. So here I here we created walls and the roof and the chimney and also the outside part of the house. So these things we created today. So the next lesson onwards, I am going to explain you how to create doors and windows of a Liverpool house. So I think after now you got something and I thought that you understood how to create a Liverpool house using Blender. This, I think that this will be a very helpful tutorial for you. So, if you need any clarification, please do not hesitate to put a comment in the comment section. Okay, now that is this is it for today. Let's meet with the second part of the video soon. Thank you very much.